helping the design estate. Yeah. It's a, a what a turnout it is today. There must be hundreds of thousands here. And what about killing the babies? What do you think? Well, it's, that's why we're here. Today we have the news that it's only Al Jazeera that shows these things. Today, in the, uh, like two hours ago, I've read the news that is saying 39 children has been killed due to the short of oxygen. Yeah. yeah. Because they bombed the hospital yeah. and they destroyed all the medical facilities, and it is clearly a genocide. What's going on? It is. Yeah. What What yeah. do you think would be the solution? The solution is is uh, I don't know. You need it. You need it. Yeah. Do you, do you think two two state solution is the two, way to go? Two state solution, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's got to, it's And and completely to. divide the border, right? Yeah. yeah. We should go back to the 1967 borders. Yeah, yeah. And keep them borders. But but the border is not anymore. Israel have taken most That's of the land saying. anyway. They, yeah. 67. Yeah, yeah since 67 they have yeah. taken more of the land actually. Right. The only only a a tiny amount of land remaining now. That's right. Under the Palestinian. Yeah. And I think uh, the way it is going, in some point of time, you know, uh, the Palestinians will lose all, all the places, you know, to live on. Well, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to kill, it, kill them all. Yeah. They're trying to kill them all. I don't, so think, I don't think it'll stop with the southern, northern Gaza. I think they'll go into the south as well. Yeah. yeah. And, and also, we need we British need to take our blame because what, what the, the through the Balfour Declaration, what yeah. we have done, yeah. we, we, we started uh, the chaos, right. basically. Yeah. And now, where it lingered now, it's one of the most uh, uh, remembered genocide happening. It will be now. Yes, it yeah. will be now, of course. Yeah, and then, in, in, yeah. I mean, it uh, is coming anyway. Yeah. We, knew, we knew it for a very long time. It's been 75 years. Well, unless somebody steps in and stops it, they'll push the Palestinians into Egypt. But they'll, do you think it's realistic what he's saying? Yeah, yeah they'll move yeah. into Sinai. Right? They will, that's what they want to do. But the political leaders are not listening. Well, no, they're not. No, no, no. So, so the hope actually very, uh, uh, very less actually here in this instance. Well, we don't, we don't seem to. It's this government, isn't it? Yeah. We need this government out. Let, let's hope and pray that you know Allah. Yeah. Sorry, say again. Free, 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 free. As you can see, the expression of everyone, yes. because if they're coming for one reason which is the reason for the humanity. Right. Humanity united together. And look yes. at the peaceful protests there. Yes. They're not breaking it up. Right? It shows that, you know, even the protests people are doing in a, in a best manner. Yes. Right? And well, this is a lesson we yeah. should, the, the wider society should take from this, right? It's a process for peace. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bless and and it's, it's done in peacefully as well. Yeah. 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 Bless colleagues and yeah. and. Yeah. And, 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 and the political leaders are saying this is a hate march. Do you think it's a hate march? No. Have no. you seen anything hate here? No, no, sure. no, not at all. So, on that note, you know, I wish you a lovely day. Uh, I know we all are bleeding inside what's yeah. going on in Palestine. Yeah. As a Muslim, I ask Allah to aid us. Yeah. And as a, as a, I'm not sure, do you, do you follow Islam or do you, are you Muslim? No. no. Christian. Christian, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We were given a, a Quran before. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and what's your message on, uh, from the Quran? What, what is the message you can take? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah, no, the message is that uh, it's the kindness of people. Yeah, yeah. I want to share one verse, and I want to, I want to uh, <laughs> listen to your thoughts on this. Only one verse, yeah. yeah. That in chapter four, yeah. That in one thirty-five. Would you like to read it for yourself? You can come as well. <laughs> Yeah, 135, yeah? yeah? All believers stand firm for justice as witnesses for God, even if it is against yourselves, your parents or close relatives, be they rich or poor. God is best to ensure their interests, so do not let your desires cause you to deviate from justice. If you distort the testimony or refuse to give it, then know that God is certainly all aware of what you do. Is that not a beautiful verse? It is a beautiful verse. It is, I believe this is, you know, this is the, the foundation of justice. Yeah. Even if it is go against myself, if I do crime, yeah. I should testify against me so that I can stand for truth. Yeah. And Allah, the creator name is Al-Adl. Allah's name is Al-Adl. And he said, go do, be just. 
yeah. because he is instructing you to do be just the right so, thing yeah. yeah so you know that's the message of islam the islam means submission and surrender and whoever surrender his will to allah the creator you will have this true peace in his heart and when you apply the god's law like this commandment in the land you will have the true sanctity sanity and the peace tranquility among the people the problem is we are deriving our social and moral ethics from our man-made law but we need heavenly law to guide ourselves if we do not incorporate the heavenly law we will never have peace that's why i ask you to look into islam and read about it look we say islam and christianity has so many similarities and we have some differences as well in terms of our creed and belief look it up because islam is rising why and we also believe that we follow jesus christ as a mightiest messenger of God. As a peace maker. Yeah, uh, yes, and we believe he's Muqarrabin, he's someone close to God, he's a spirit from God, he's a prophet and messenger of God, just like Moses, Noah, Ibrahim, Prophet Muhammad, all of them. They came and tell people to worship. There is only one God, and you don't worship any society, the politician. At the moment, we are worshiping the politician. Some of the people are listening and obeying the way they should have obeyed God, but they're obeying politician. I think the majority in this country don't worship these politicians. Yeah. No, no. I mean, they are ex exactly listening to the command of the politician, <laughs> right? Instead of uh, uh, listening to what is reasonable. Yeah. The problem is people are not thinking in their mind. Yeah. And that's why. But those who came out, you came out, yeah. out of the guiltness that everyone is feeling. You know, in Arabic, we call it nafsul lawama, guilty consciousness. Whenever you have guilty consciousness, you have a sense of feeling that I need to do something. That's because right. there is something due on me. Yes, yes. And I congratulate you. You stand for solidarity, for the cause of humanity. And uh, may God bless you. And you have a blissful and enjoyable rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Look after yourself. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Another beautiful couple. Uh, SubhanAllah, as you can see, they have the guilt. They have the guilt inside them that what's going on in Gaza is not fair at all and and the sanctity of human life has been broken a big time and as a matter of you know relieve the guilt they are here to show the solidarity for this great cause of humanitarian cause for free Palestine uh, give them their independence give them their their human rights so I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bestow the peace and sanctity and may Allah open our leaders eyes and heart and may Allah allow them to make the good decision and the decision that will be favor for the ummah as a whole and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aid us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum.